Hi everybody. Um, another pen and ink combination that I've really been enjoying lately is my Caveco Brass Sport and Diamine Ancient Copper. Um, I've had this Brass Sport since, um, I want to say December. I want to say I've had this since December and I've really, really, really enjoyed it. As you can see, it's got a really great patina on it. I have a silver clip on it to match the finial. And what I really love about this Caveco is, uh, is with my other Cavecos, my other Caveco Sports, the plastic ones, the threads on the section were very sharp on my olive and my macchiato and so sometimes it would make it so that I didn't even want to pick it up and write with them because I knew it would be uncomfortable. Now on my smooth sage, my AL, my gold AL sport and this brass sport, my threads are actually very nice and soft. They're not, they're not too sharp at all so it makes it very comfortable to write with. I write with my pens posted. So it does make the pen a little back weighted when you write with it posted, but it's never been an issue for me, even with uh, long writing sessions at all. I have a fine nib on here and it is a very nice, very wet, fine nib. I really enjoy it. So this pen, as you know, because everybody knows about Caveco Brass Sports, is a hefty pen. I have dropped this pen out of um, my pen case onto the ground before. Um, it survived. I was getting out of the truck and just kind of flung my bag and one, lo and behold it just kind of dropped and fell on the ground and I stepped on it. It survived, obviously, completely unscathed. And um, that's one of the things that I love about this pen is the durability of it because I'm hard on my pens. Um, I don't have very many pens that are just like a aesthetic beauty trophy pens. I don't have those. So the pens that I do have that I use and that I love, I use them, you know, I use them. And that means they go with them everywhere, go with me everywhere. I don't have a single pen that's just a home pen. All of my pens travel with me everywhere I go. Not all of my pens all at one time. That's silly. But uh, I usually have my currently inked pen case and it's got all of the pens that I'm currently using in there and it goes with me in my bag everywhere that I go. Um, so I've really, really been enjoying using this pen. I'm on my second fill of Ancient Copper and I think what makes this combination so special is just, uh, I don't know, they're just beautiful together they just they're like a match made of heaven in heaven they're like friends that should never be separated so ancient copper is all i put in my caveco brass sport that's it i feel like it deserves nothing but the best and i use ancient copper i have one other pen that i use primarily with ancient copper and so two pens that get the ancient copper treatment so I just refilled this pen yesterday. So I'm excited to write with it for a little while longer. Uh, Caveco cartridge uh, with my writing and being that I have several different pens that I'm writing with at the same time, I write a few pages in one pen with one ink and then I switch to the next pen and you know, the next ink and I kind of go through them like that. So one cartridge of ink in a Caveco will last me about four days and so if I was just writing with just the one pen, just this Caveco, it would probably last me about a day and a half, um, uh, the cartridge of ink. But anyway, I just really, really love this pen. It is such a joy to have and write with. I don't have very many fine nibs, but this is a fine nib that I really enjoy. It's it's not a dry nib at all. And no, some Caveco nibs, like you can kind of, you can get, the Caveco nibs are kind of, kind of up in the air. You can get some really great ones. You can get some not so great ones. But I'm very lucky that the uh, 
the nib on this Caveco um, is just, it's just fantastic. I really, really enjoy it. And I really enjoy this pen. I'm glad to have it in my collection and I write with it very often. And as you know, I actually have a, uh, a record that I keep where I do a rotation with all of my pens and all of my inks to make sure I'm using everything. And anything that I have that I don't find joy in picking up and writing with, like something, a pen or an ink that I'm like, oh, it's come up in the rotation, it's the, the end of the month, I really need to write with this. If I have those kinds of feelings about a pen or an ink, then I usually will uh, either sell or gift them to somebody else who I know will enjoy them. But this is a pen that uh, will be with me through the ages. And um, this is a full bottle of this ink. I actually just finished the smaller plastic bottle. I completely finished that. It was one of the second or third bottles of ink that I used, so I'm really excited about that. So now I'm on to the 80 ml bottle, and I'm excited to see how long uh, this bottle lasts me as well. But these, this pen and this ink are just such a classic combination. I know I'm not the only one that loves this combination. It's fantastic, beautiful to write with, and I will show you a writing sample right now. All right, so once again, I am pulling a quote from my book, Moving On by Sarah Ben Brethnack, and I hope you will enjoy it. Currently journaling in my Wonderland 222 notebook with its beautiful Tomo River paper. And here we go. Sorry if you just heard my daughters because they are being daughters. Alright. You can have anything you want if you want it desperately enough. You must want it with all your inner exuberance that erupts through the skin and joins the energy that created the world. 
So now, my downcast darling, this is not the day you stop believing in your happily ever after. This is the day you start. I love how ancient copper looks on the page on this white Toma River paper. It's beautiful. And just writing with this hefty, solid brass pen in this just antique looking, ancient looking copper ink is just so pleasurable, so nice. It makes me feel like I'm writing with something indestructible. I don't know. It just makes me feel really good. I really enjoy this pen. I love that I can take it anywhere and not be afraid of what's going to happen to it. And every little scratch and scrape that it gets along the way just adds to its character and to its story. This is a great pen. And if you are on the fence about whether or not you would get, you would like one, I want to encourage you. It's heavy, but it's not too heavy. There are other fountain pens out there that are more heavily back weighted, that are just harder to grip and harder to write with. And this pen is just really ergonomic and friendly, and it feels good to write with unposted and posted as well. When it's posted, it just kind of lays nestled right there in the crook of your hand. It's really great. This is a fantastic pen, and I'm very glad and very lucky to have one. So I hope you enjoyed this little video and um, maybe it will encourage you to pull out your ancient copper and your own Quebeco brass board and ink them up and I hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching and happy writing